Okay. So guys, what we're going to do is just talk about the future of Wikidaba. But before we start, I just want to give you an update on the charter. So yesterday we spoke a lot about the charter and one of the things that came up was folks, so we, we took a read in the room, folks have not read the charter that much. And so pushing to have like a ratification of the charter would not make any sense. And so what we want to do is to give um, members of the African community about two to three weeks to review the document, look through it. And also there will be a translation in all the African languages to enable us to be, be able to understand the document. And then after that, we will do another consultation process online and then possibly have the ratification of the document. So we're not going to have that discussion today, please. Okay? All good? Hey, some people are really excited about that. Okay. Now, before I hand over to um, our colleagues from Wiscom and the current organizing group, I just wanted to say something. You know, it's been a whole year of trying to live up to the comments, the thoughts, the plights of the community that came up from Wiki Ndaba 2022. And I'm just going to do a little recap. So in 2022, I think the main issues that were highlighted were one, having a, a comprehensive document that listed our plight as a community and how we could address those issues. And I think today we have come a long way with the Africa agenda, which seeks to achieve that purpose. Now, the other thing that we heard was who is going to do this work that we're talking about? And I think that informed Wiscom's decision to have a retreat with stakeholders and to start off something they're calling the Wiscom Charter. So we are at this point, it looks fuzzy, it looks hard, but we must celebrate where we have come and the steps we've taken to get to this point. So I want all of us to give our, ourselves a round of applause and appreciate ourselves for the work that we have done. But also, you can't look into the future without talking about the past. And so I'll invite Bobby to talk a little bit about um, Wiscom, the work they are doing around Wiki Ndaba. And then from there, we will invite um, our folks from the current organizing committee to speak to us a little bit about um, what has ensued in this conference, uh, the lessons that they've derived from this conference and recommendations for the future of Wikindaba. Then after that, we'll open the floor to hear your point of view about how you've seen Wikindaba and how we can, what we can do to actually improve the experience for you in 2024. Thank you. Over to Bobby. Uh, thank you, Felix. I was telling Felix that I have a headache. They might be bewitching me. Since you're African, you understand. <laughs> so I'm going to sit down. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is WISCOM? WISCOM is an acronym that stands for Wiki in the Abbas Steering Committee. How was it formed? It was formed in 2018 after a, um, a decision was taken in, in Tunisia that there needs to be a committee uh, that is composed of previous organizers of the uh, conference uh, that will ensure that the conference happens every year. So the WISCOM is formed by the previous organizers of the Wiki Indapa conference. It is formed also by two liaisons from the Wikimedia Foundation, which is Veronica and Dumisane. And it is also formed by three volunteers from the community, community members. Um, currently, we only have the previous organizers of the conference, as well as the uh, Wikimedia Foundation liaisons. We still have not filled the positions of the volunteers. Why? Because we still are deciding how uh, we still are in that process of, of bringing them on board. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> what do... What I'm going to do right now is to give you an update of how we do the selection uh, criterion, basically. So what we look at is the regional rotation uh, of the conference. Previously, what used to happen was we only selected a, a country based on the regional rotation. We looked at where the conference was held, and then after that, we, we um, um, select a different region 
uh, in the African continent. But we have elected to move from that process and announce two countries instead of one. Um, uh, currently, the, the conference is here in the north, and then next year is going to the south, meaning that the next iterations that will be announced will be from the east and west. So, so yeah, <clears throat> the, the the next host will be will be announced in 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 Johannesburg. All right. The other thing that we are looking for when we're choosing, we're looking at if there are elections taking place in that country that we've selected. Uh, if there are elections that are taking place, unfortunately, we cannot uh, host the conference uh, in, in that country. You know the situation in the African continent, colleagues. Uh, we don't want to expose our volunteers in um, dangerous situations. Normally, when elections are being held, you know that there are some clashes that normally happens. The other thing that we are looking for, we're looking at the status of finance uh, from that user group that we've, we've, we've chosen. In fact, maybe I should have began by explaining that in order for you to be selected uh, to host the conference, you need to be an affiliate. You need to be affiliated or be, be an affiliate, Wikimedia Foundation affiliate in the African continent. And uh, and uh, after that, we reach out to you as Wikimedia, uh, Wiki, as Wiscom. We reach out to all the affiliates um, uh, in that region that we want the conference to be hosted in. And um, we invite them to submit their interest to host the conference. So after they have then submitted their interest, these are the points that we are looking at, uh, including regional rotation, if there are elections that are uh, that are held in the country, as well as if you as a user group, your finances as well as your reporting is up to date, is up to standard, we, we look at such things. And we also look at the reasons why do you want to host the conference? Uh, we, we, we gauge that as well. And the last thing that we, we, we're looking at is if you are cleared, cleared by the Wikimedia Foundation to receive funds uh, from, from, from the Wikimedia Foundation, we, we consult with the Wikimedia Foundation after we've run our processes within Wiki Industry and reach out to Hen uh, to find out and, and the trust and safety team to find out if uh, you are eligible to receive funding from the Wikimedia Foundation. So, yeah, that's that's what we are basically doing. But now, um, in 2022, what had happened was um, the, the, the mandate of WISCOM was then extended. Um, the, com the community, I know, uh, ex extended the mandate of, the, of WISCOM from only organizing the Wiki Indaba conference to also focusing on supporting uh, the community and um, and uh, to also focus on different other areas uh, that, that has to do with supporting the community. So now that meant that document uh, that will tell us what, how we then for and called the Wiscom Charter. So, 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 uh, um, maybe let me just stop here for now. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So, so next steps. So, all right, yeah, I think that is very important. Thanks, Felix. <clears throat> so, um, what we want to do as as we come uh, as next steps because we've learned the more we are hosting the conferences, the more we are learning, colleagues. Uh, we 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 really are learning, and we have seen that it will be best to actually um, standardize uh, some of the processes and 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 and. Um, uh, host them, or, or um, yes, host them in 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 Wiscom. Uh, they should not be given to the communities because they 
they just a standard standard um, uh, processes like for an example the travel agency thing that can be within wiscom then the other other processes and um the issue of scholarships which is something that i nearly um i left out in 2020 in 2022 we had 40 um scholarships that were awarded and uh, there was a really really big cry from the community that how can we give 40 scholarships but there were reasons behind that because we were coming from COVID and we were not sure you know who was uh, uh, was going to happen really so we just only awarded 40 scholarships uh this year um i think maybe uh, red i will highlight on that the the number is, is almost doubled of the scholarship and we also have micro grants uh, that we have given of other uh, colleagues that are hosting the conference in fact joining the conference uh in their countries uh, we're looking to still double that number so that we have more um uh, volunteers participate so uh yeah we are looking for we uh, i mean the um, the conference the weekend our conference to be not just a conference uh, we want the conference to be a place where africans meet not only get help you know but uh, to be a, some sort of like a family a community you know that connects wikipedians within the african community but also um you know develop that sense of you know family structure that i can just go there and ask someone because i've met them at the conference and we don't want for people to just come to the conference because they just want to you know um discuss about their 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 problems and then after they take few pictures and then go back home we are not looking for that only but we are looking for to build a community that will support us as Africans beyond this conference. I, I said in the opening of the conference that we, this conference is actually not a uh, way we discuss issues, but it is a, it is a, it is a conversation starter. So we want to um, start conversations uh, and, but continue with those conversations outside of the conference. So <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's what WISCOM is. And that's what uh, the, the conference is looking like. Thanks. So to Wikimedia Morocco for your learnings and uh, recommendations for 2024. Thank you so much, Felix and Bobby. Uh, so when, when we were first approached by the WISCOM to organize Wiki Indaba, we weren't sure on how we'll be dealing with this because on the outcomes of wiki uh in Dubai, rwanda we wanted to have more people to join either physically and online so which requires more logistics and more resources so this was a first challenge that we had to overcome and the second one is also the the agenda or the content that we are as african community had to uh, discuss and develop during the conference. So it is a huge content and huge agenda. So we had to look for the exact sessions, presentations, content that should be discussed during these three days so that it can be a starter, as Bobby said, for discussion for the rest of the day, for the rest of the year, and then give the opportunity for others to join and develop to, uh, to have an output that can be shared with everyone. So for this year, we had in total more than 4, 400 actually applicants for only 80 spots for scholarships, which means that it was really competitive, difficult to choose who are the best, or not the best, but who, uh, who, is, who will be managing to come to Agadir to join. So, and we wanted to uh, make sure that everyone from the different countries and regions to be here with us hear their voices, their perspectives, and also share it with their communities. So, and this is what was our main objective. And then we wanted also to include those who are online. So we have provided micro grants to groups that are at this stage, they don't have any official recognition, but we want them to grow. So we have sponsorized seven groups across Africa. They are Burundi, Burkina Faso, Libya, Niger, 
Republic of Congo, South Sudan, and Zimbabwe. So it is it is a diverse uh, distribution, and at the same time, we want them to uh, be join us online. At the same time, have a local gathering there so that they can we can have them in the next wiki in Daba. Uh, our recommendation for the next hosts, which are the South Africans who will be celebrating the 10 years of Indaba next year, is that they have also to take the lead again. And we, with this accumulated uh, tr treasure that we have uh, had throughout these this years and these experiences that we have managed to have from the first edition till now, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something that is huge. It's a responsibility, and also it is something imp important to capitalize on. We've seen that there are lots of challenges, lots of problems that we are we are facing, and we, we and we do have the solutions. So the, the 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 trajectory now is that we have to bring everyone together, have more volunteers, more task forces to join us on drafting and finalizing the Wiscom Charter, the African Agenda and to make sure that the next edition will be on the implementation. And, and this is the, the main point that we have to look for as an African. So th this is important to collaborate together, to le leave no one behind, as it is important for us to include as much as possible of representation, whether linguistic or geographical, and also to make sure that our voice as an African is heard within the global Wikimedia community. Thank you. So I think we've heard from Wiscom what their hopes are for 2024. We've heard from um, um, Wikimedia Morocco about their experiences and some of the recommendations that they're making to the next host. Uh, but I think we cannot leave uh, or close the session without hearing from you in the audiences what your experiences has been and the things that you hope to see in the 2024 version of Wiki Indaba. So like Reda rightly said, Wiki Indaba is 10 years. I think that deserves an applause. This is this um, South Africa 2024 will be the eighth, right? Yes. Eighth edition of Wiki Indaba. And Wiki Indaba would have been 10 years, which is why it's going back to where it started, which is in South Africa. And so I think there is a lot on the shoulders of South Africa, but also a lot that is expected of them because to whom much is given, much is expected. And I think it would be important to hear your point of views on like what is needed um, for the 2024 edition or what you as hope to see in the 2024 edition. But before then, I want to see by hands those of you who have been to a week in Daba, if this was your first week in Daba. Okay. Okay. How many of you have been to all week in Dabas? All. All. You haven't been to all week in Dabas. How many of you have been to two, at least two week in Dabas? Okay, good. Now, those of you have your hands up, I want to ask you a question. What has been the trend that you've seen from Wiki Indaba that you would like to change or improve? And I'll take this question first to Asaf. I want to hear his point of view on that. And I know I have three minutes. Okay. Um, a friend I would like to see change. Uh, I think I spoke to it actually already. The trend of expressing needs and then being very passive and just waiting for the sound to get there without saying, What are we going to do about it? Because we can't do what are you going to, how are you going to step up? How are we going to recruit the people to solve the problem? Uh, I would like to see that trend, which has been constant, actually, we're working in Dallas since 2014, I would like to see that change, I would like to see that happen to be extremely more confident about um, how and more we need to take responsibility for the world. Thank you, everyone. 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 
Thank you. So maybe a reflection from my side, right? I can make this reflection, but let me say, what is the one thing that you liked from this conference? Let's go to the positives and we'll come to the negatives so we can take these things back home. If I were to ask the one thing, Ayla has a hand up. Okay, I've noted. <laughs> There's another hand. The one thing that you appreciate or like from this conference. So Ayla has a hand up in Georges. And then Geoffrey. I'm going to get away with not asking that. <laughs> But first of all, I want to say really thank um, the media and you know, for hosting this. It's not an easy thing to do, but it has even with those challenging things to make sense. So thank you for your Really good. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, it's mine, it's not necessarily a trend that I want to talk about, but maybe a legal talk that would <laughs> be passed perhaps from one. Organizing group to the other about it just seems that every time we come to a European club and the same things happen or the same kind of niggles happen, and that this is you know you kind of expect it, but like if those were listed on a Google Doc of like what to look out for or what not to, like what were your key, you know, what were the key challenges for people and like transporting and all those kind of things, easily, blah blah, but we all know them. But if there was a Google talk that could just be updated each time and it was passed on, please, it's like the, you know, the, the movement has literally hundreds of events. It had like selective stuff. It seems like every year the, the organizing community has to start to start again. And I, I know that's not necessarily true, but it feels like it. So I just you know, help support you guys. Like, you're meant to be institutional knowledge. I'm passing it on. Last one, please. Thank you. Bobby, you like to say something when you're done? I think you're going to be able to do something, okay? Let's just continue to watch the conversation about the conversation. But we're going to be able to do that. What's it? I don't think it's going to be the same one. Ouais, je traduis de, euh, rapidement. So I will translate quickly what George has said. He said that he attended several weekend dabas and he likes such gatherings when all Africans, African weekend, uh, comedians come together and discuss without any uh, difficulties or with any uh, 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 prior thoughts. So they come together, they share what they have and they discuss together. And the second point is that uh, when it comes to organization of such e events, it requires a lot of effort, a lot of uh, hard work to make it happen. So he wanted to uh, recognize and congratulate the, the, the team again for this. Mais quand je vois son idée, notamment une idée en entier, moi je pense qu'on doit aller plus en avant. Il faudrait qu'on réfléchisse à comment avoir plus d'impact, véritablement aller 
de Dieu Tata, on a parlé de soutenir les vidéos, on a parlé de façon de faire de santé autre. Nous ne sommes pas responsables. Sauf que je veux pouvoir, on passe à un autre niveau. So his his proposition is that Wiscom should uh, move forward, not being an event organizer of of Indabas. I guess. Yeah, I can, I can, I can comment. I can comment. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are. But yeah, yeah, it was a very important uh, comment to me. Thank you for the choice. Um, I want to talk about the dynamic change that we've seen uh, uh, over the years. And it's very obvious the change. Um, things that we do at the saw, things that we do in this uh, conference, they just change. Sometimes you plan according to your experience, but you find that because of the conditions, they have changed. Now we have to you know, do things differently. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because now, when the first meeting in our conference in 2014, we, and I said this, I said this, I said this, we just thought, let's, let's give nature, you know, let's give nature to help us to organize the, the next conference. Yeah. 2015 20, happened, nothing happened. Because no one took the reins to, to do something to make sure that the conference has been. 2016 happened. The conference was not organized. Why? Because nature did not help us. You know, it was it was because of peace, I remember, reaching out to us and saying, right, what are we doing? We need to organize the next conference. Where is it going? What is the process? What is happening? You know. And uh, that's when then a couple of people from South Africa, myself included, we then began to think, okay, let's just organize, you know, something. Start the process of organizing something. Uh, we thanks to the sun. You know, started organizing something. And we started the process. And the conference happened in, um, in Ghana. Yes, it happened in Ghana in 2017. In 2017, that's when we realized that, oh, man. We can't leave everything to nature. We need to organize ourselves and find something. We then went to uh, uh, Tunisia. That's when the Wiki in the selling committee was born. You saw this I think, for years. It's not old. It's a new uh, a committee. Uh, but because of the speed of how things are moving, we also realized that we need to change with time, with this. So um, I just want you to keep that in mind as well, because as much as the form is there, is being a custodian of these documents, by the way, and the custodian of the conference, we are aware that we don't need to set in our approach. We need to change the time set of it. Thank you, Bobby. And I, I think we have a session with the participants for one already, but the whole session was also for that.
But what I'm going to say in this session, and this bigger question that we've been asked for, the question is should Western remain as an Islam for those organizing in that way? Where as another entity is created to sort of like take out these other areas that go us? This is something that we need to chat more about. This was, you know, the great thing I can teach you now. So I just want to urge you on as a person, as a body that's really helping um, bring this community together and bring this decision to the point to take it up and then discuss this with your community, bring it up to the community and let's see how best or what are best to do as we go. Thank you. Thank you all for this. Yeah.